Hey, this is Matt with Champion. I'm going to go over how to fix your issue with the foot pedal, whether it be from a machine constantly firing or a machine not firing after you followed the troubleshooting for each one of those. What we need to do first is we're going to remove this E-clip on one side. There's two on one each side. What we need to do is a small flathead screwdriver and give a pry to this clip. Nice and easy. Uh, if you go very quick, you have a chance of that clip going flying. Once we get that off, we're going to take this shaft and push this shaft through. Take that out, and then we're able to open this foot pedal up. Take that cover right off. Alright, so this is what inside your foot pedal should look like. If your foot pedal does not look like this, please make yours uh, look exactly the way it should. With the uh, two wires on the top ones, this bottom one should be open. Little L bracket sticking off the back, and then the spring. We're going to take the spring and set it to the side. With this foot pedal open, we are going to go to our thrower. We got it hooked up to the battery. I'm going to turn this on. I have my limit switch disconnected on this, so it should not move at all. All right. So now, with this cover open, I should be able to push on this bracket and make the machine move in and fire. All right. Since that worked, our issue is going to be with this little L bracket that sticks out. If I pushed on that switch and nothing happened, we would be looking at possibility, possibility of this switch or a break in the line. Um, so if it did not work, what we want to do is we want to take the two wires off of this switch, slide them off, and then slide the insulation back. Uh, and then with the machine turned on, we want to touch the two wires together. It's going to cross them. If the machine fires, then it's our switch inside here that's issued. So you can give us a call here at Champion and we can get you a new switch sent out. If crossing these two wires with that toggle switch in the on position does not work, then we would be looking at a possibility of a break in the line or a loose wire somewhere. Um, give us a call at Champion at that point and we can walk you through how to figure that out. Um, if your machine did fire with pushing on that little bracket um, and your issue before was the machine constantly firing, what we want to do is we want to bend this L bracket down a little bit. So it might be sticking up too high, touching on the top side of that foot pedal all the time. So what we'll do is we'll push down on it, it'll hit a spot that it won't move anymore, and then we'll put some more force to bend that down so it's not such a high up in the air. Now, if our issue was not firing, then we want to do the opposite, where we bend this back. And we'll hit a point where it doesn't go anymore and put some more pressure on it to bend that upward. Then, after we do whatever fix we need to, we want to test it to make sure what we did fixed the issue. So, we need to put this cover back on. First, put the spring right over that little hump that's in the front here on the bottom. Little hump right there, spring sits right there. Then we take our cover and we set that right over the top. All right? And we're going to take our shaft and we're going to slide it through the foot pedal. All right? Now, we are not going to put that other E-clip on, just in case we still have an issue. So, we'll go up to the machine, we'll turn it on. Remember, this limit switch is, is not hooked up, so the arm's not going to move. Now, I should be able to push on this and let it fire. Okay, so that's good. What we'll need to do next, final, is to put that E-clip back on. All right, so when we put the E-clip back on, we get it started, just pushing it on there. And then I use a little pliers to push it on the rest of the way, just like that. And now it's on. When you're done with that, you can hook your limit switch back up if you have it disconnected. Um, and if your machine constantly fires after you hook that back up, then look at the limit switch adjustment um, just in case you moved it around and have some issues going on there, 
Um, also, if you have issues with clays dropping, um, watch the limit switch adjustment video and get that set up correctly. As always, if you have any further questions, feel free to let us know here at Champion.